In a recent operation conducted by the Uganda Revenue Authority, the authority managed to intercept and impound fake and illegal products in the market smuggled through porous borders and those manufactured in the country. Today, URA displayed some of the goods impounded among which are ladies' cosmetic creams that are banned by the Uganda National Bureau of Standards because of containing a banned substance, hydroquinone. These include brands such as Carolite, Citrolite, Porclair, Coco Pulp, among others. Julius Nkwasire Mponoka, the assistant commission in charge of enforcement, says most of these products are smuggled from the neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo. With either hydroquinone or uh, mercury and other things which breach uh, our good ladies, they are beautiful the way they are, but they like uh, breaching. But these products cause, can cause cancer and other things. So that's why we, uh, we, we in Uganda, we don't allow them. Now that we don't allow them, some people utilize means of smuggling them. They are smuggled essentially from DRC. Other impounded products include alcoholic beverages such as Pak Gin, Treberemu Gin, Rasta Gin, and Timex, among others. Nkwasira says these companies are operating illegally without licenses and evade taxes. One, they must go through the certification by UNBS so that they are rightful products. And then they have the stamps, the digital stamps. So if you are taking these drinks which have not been tested and tried, uh, uh, tested by UNBS, it might mean that you are taking something that is not very good. Nkwasire also displayed textiles, 1.6 tons of rice in a Subaru Forester vehicle with a fake number plate. These are one of the very many products that have been impounded by URA for evading taxes, causing the country a lot of loss in revenue. As you can see, including a lot drinks, uh, Vaseline, textile, and many of them that don't pay taxes, causing Ugandans to lose a lot. He says since last year, Uganda Revenue Authority have recovered goods worth 79 billion shillings and 2.4 billion from the start of this month. The customs are looking at a target of 9 trillion shillings, but so far, 7 trillion has been collected. Adams Mayambala, CTV, PM Edition.